We have a lot to talk about tonight. Of course, it is really, really warm temperatures in the low 70s, and I think tomorrow we could break the record high of 69 that was set back in 2000. And then we're going to be dealing with a turn towards winter weather by Monday morning. A lot going on in the nation's midsection, severe weather, possible tornadoes here across the deep south. Then you run into snow from Chicago over towards Detroit. Closer to home, skies are cloudy right now. We have a little batch of showers coming up here from North Carolina, skirting across south side over the next uh, hour or so. But I think most of that passes south of Metro Richmond. And things are pretty quiet here until close to daybreak when we'll have a batch of rain moving into the area. 71 degrees right now. The breeze out of the south at 14 miles an hour. And look at this. These are forecast low temperatures tonight. Lower 60s in towns and 50s where they're in the 50s to the north. The temperatures may actually rise by daybreak and tomorrow's another very warm day. Upper 60s, low 70s for the most part before the temperature really drops off a cliff tomorrow night. For this evening, we're basically cloudy by midnight. I do see some showers possible here to the northwest from Fredericksburg over to Charlottesville, and this rain eventually moves into the metro area during the wee hours of the morning. As I mentioned, it'll be quite wet around daybreak through mid morning. By midday, a lot of this moves out of the area and things will be quiet tomorrow afternoon. The skies may actually brighten up again. And then we'll watch an area of low pressure passing to our south with colder air racing in from the northwest. And look at that. That's a possible batch of snow over the metro area during the wee hours of Monday morning that could linger through daybreak and then skies will clear rapidly Monday afternoon. So you're hearing all about the possibilities of snow and there are a lot of factors to consider here. First of all, which is traditional around here, it's a race between the cold air and the moisture staying in place. So we'll see how fast the cold air arrives, whether the moisture stays in place, and then the storm track is important. If it passes a little bit farther south and east, the colder air comes in, but it also can push the moisture out of the way. So again, we're playing between two major factors here. And even if we get all of the precipitation to fall as snow and we get several hours of snow, accumulation is going to be tough because of the very warm ground. So here's how I see things playing out. I'm going to tell it to you straight here. There are various possibilities here, but the most likely scenario is we do get several hours of a mixture or wet snow occurring and accumulation would occur on grassy surfaces, trees and decks. The roads would stay wet, but I could see a couple of inches accumulating of wet, uh, wet snow on the grassy surfaces on Monday morning. A bust for snow lovers, the storm passes farther south and east, the cold air rushes in, the moisture departs, and we see little, if any, snow, but there is still a remote possibility. I'd give it about a 20% possibility. Everything comes into play, and maybe we see a more significant snowfall and obviously a higher impact. That is not the likely scenario right now, but we'll monitor the situation and keep you posted as we get closer to the event tomorrow. 63 degrees overnight, breezy. Very mild, some fog and rain arriving late. A rainy Sunday morning. Skies may brighten in the afternoon. 70 would be a record high tomorrow. Temperatures tumble into the 30s. The wind picks up some snow or a mix in the morning on Monday. Then real cold on Tuesday. Temperatures moderate and another system could bring some rain changing over to a little wet snow Thursday night into Friday morning.